Hi everybody, in this video, we're gonna go over how I treated Demodex the first time. But before we do that, I just wanna say, guys, I am not a doctor, I am not a dermatologist, I am not a specialist. I'm just here to share my experience with you. So if you are gonna try one of the treatments that I use, please consult your doctor first. Although my doctor was definitely not thrilled with the method that I used the second time I treated Demodex. He was actually really against it, but it worked for me and it was definitely the best treatment for me. I first realized there was something wrong with my skin when I was traveling Thailand. At this point in my life, I was under a lot of stress. Um, I had a death in the family. I was grieving. I recently had a broken leg and I was traveling the world on my own. And all of the stress definitely um, had an impact on Demodex, but we're gonna talk about that in a different video. I was laying in my hostel and suddenly my forehead started itching. Uh, it kept itching on and off, and when I walked to the mirror, I saw these white bumps. I immediately thought that was acne. When I tried to push them out, of course nothing came out because Demodex is buried deep down the layers of your skin. I thought the itching was definitely strange, but I figured it's probably just acne. No big deal. I'll deal with it later. Shortly after, I was traveling to St. Petersburg to meet my family. When I got to St. Petersburg, I decided to go do a facial to try to clear up some of this acne. And when I did the facial within three hours, my face blew up. I was covered in a rash. I looked horrible and I was no longer enjoying my trip. But it wasn't until I got to Crimea that I learned what was really wrong with my skin. I went to go see a dermatologist. The dermatologist tested me immediately for Demodex. She took a few samples of my eyelashes, looked under a microscope, and informed me I have Demodex. This news definitely put a dent in my travel plans. I was supposed to meet somebody in the Philippines right after Russia, and of course, I could no longer go. She immediately put me on a treatment with a medication called Arnidazole. Uh, she also prescribed topical metronidazole gel 1%, which I used morning and night. This ma medication made my skin very glossy, very tight, very sensitive to the sun and very red. And then this medication in Russian, it's called Blifarogel, but in English, I believe it's called Blifarogel. I will reference all of these in the comments and where you can find them. This stuff was godsend. This is what helped me sleep through the night so my eyes are not itching. I put this right around my eyelashes and on my eyebrows. This literally prevented me from scraping my eyeballs out of my skull. So this medication, I need the Zol, she put me on uh, I think 15 to 18 days the first time. Then I took a break and then I took another two weeks of this. And after that, I just used metronidazole gel and this for the next eight months. It took a long time to treat this problem, but eventually I did get rid of it. The second time I got Demodex, it was a lot harder to treat. I tried every single medication and I was allergic to this stuff. So, but we'll go over that in the next video. So in summary, metronidazole, arnidazole, blepharogel. I hope this helps you guys. See you later.